First segment of the show brought to you by Harmony Foundation. Go to Harmony Foundation. Inc.com. Harmony Foundation Inc. But go to that Facebook page because if you are number yeah. 500, it's going to be worth your while. I, what do you want to get into? Uh, Broncos have lost two more players. Two guys that I think they wanted to re sign, but they're going other places. Mitch Unrein is going to the San Diego Chargers, defensive tackle, and, well, defensive end, I should say. And, um, Jacob Tammy, a tight end they wanted to bring back, a guy who's never played for any other quarterback but Peyton Manning. He's going to the Atlanta Falcons to play with Matt Ryan. I, I totally dislike those two moves. I, I for the Broncos, always, you dislike yeah, it. Yeah, well, of course, for, for the Broncos. Mitch Ryan has been a – he's a homegrown player. Yeah. He's from Colorado. Eaton, Colorado. Play, played at Wyoming. Uh, he did? Wyoming, yeah, played at yeah. Wyoming, and he spent his career with, with the Broncos, was an undrafted free agent who has really done a nice job. I didn't know – until I looked it up, that he participated in only about 50 snaps last year. Yeah. So he went to the Chargers because I'm sure Mike McCoy offered him an opportunity, if not to start, but to play. I thought he was more into the rotation than he actually was because 50 plays over 16 games, only about five or six plays a game. Jacob Tammy not only was a solid receiver, uh, well, Mitch Unride was a solid receiver. Yeah. He was the first guy in Peyton Manning's history who didn't play one of the receiving positions or running back to catch a touchdown pass of all of those record-setting passes that Peyton Manning has thrown. He'll always be able to say he caught a touchdown pass from Peyton Manning. Yeah, he'll probably live off that on the chicken circuit for years. <laughs> uh, Jacob Tammy, Tammy, where I was going with that is not, not only uh, was for a year or two when Dallas Clark was hurt, a primary receiver for uh, Peyton Manning, but he was a, a third down guy that Peyton Manning liked to go to with the Broncos. But even more important than that, for the Broncos, he was a very, very good special teams player. I think, and a lot of people would say David Bruton, I would tell you that their best special teams player this year was Jacob Tammy. And he was I, in on, it seemed he was in on every special teams tackle. Uh, and I've got to question this move, John. I'm, I'm, I'm a John Elway. Devotee, Advocate, yeah, yeah, uh, over his career, but John, I think you really <coughs> made a serious mistake here. Maybe they couldn't pr promise the more time, but they could only uh, had to pay Mitch Unrein about a million dollars a year. Yeah, I, 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 well, I'm, I'm with you on, on the Unrein move. To me, it's about two things. Number one, he didn't dress for nine games. Nine out of seventeen games, he wasn't even in uniform. He was he was up in the press box with with, talking with us to me, schlubs talking yeah. to me every once in a while. Um, and I'm guessing in the that, hot dog line with me about three times. Yeah, twenty seven years old. He probably thought, you know what? I don't know how many more years I have in this league. I need to grab the money when I can. And my guess is they were willing to pay him a little bit more money. Grab the money? Well, I mean, we're not talking about six million dollars. No, we're, we're talking close, about we're, we're talking, talking close about to two million. And I don't know that the Broncos were willing to give him two years, and I don't know that they were willing to give him, well, they paid him like 1.3 last year, and he didn't dress for more than half the games. I'm guessing they probably offered him around the same or a little bit less, and probably only one year. This way he's getting two years and close to two million. Well, he's not getting two years. He's getting one year guaranteed, and then next year he'll have to make the team. Uh, Jacob Tammy, I hadn't seen the numbers on it, but I, I, hadn't either. I assume based on what I read, uh, I haven't talked to him or Mitch at this point, but Jacob, I, I imagine, was told the same thing. They've only got one veteran competent tight end in Atlanta, and he's not much. So Jacob Tammy could be a starter with the Falcons. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you there, too. Uh, look, last year, Julius Thomas caught every pass thrown to a tight end just about, and Tammy didn't get a lot. Tammy caught 14 passes. That was it. Uh, he wasn't targeted very much. And this year... When, when uh, Julius Thomas left, they went out and got Owen Daniels, who is going to be the premier pass-catching tight end on this team. And Tammy probably said to himself, going to be the same thing, just like playing behind Julius Thomas. Down in Atlanta, with a pretty good quarterback and a pretty good offense, and Kyle Shanahan <laughs> running that offense now, I think Jacob Tammy's going to be targeted more and catch more passes. And my guess is they've offered him more money than the Broncos offered him. I have a solution for a tight end. Yeah. You want to know it? Joel Dreesen, bring him back. He's well rested. Can he play? Joel's had, had a knee of, injury. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, but I would take a, I'd take a gander. He's right up the road. I mean, yeah. he's, he's not very far away. He's in town two or three days a week. He probably still lives here, but he's from uh, 
He's from Eden, isn't he also? Fort Collins, Fort, went to yeah, CSU. Yeah. So, I mean, he's got to be thrilled today about the effort uh, performed by his team well, last I've got night. two other names that, that we could throw out there. Uh, Tony Moyaki, who was with Kansas City and before he suffered injuries the last couple of years, was a pretty good pass-catching tight end. He's out there and available. I never heard he was of him. Tony Moyaki? He never was in Seattle last no, year. I'm telling you, I never heard yeah. of him. And um, He wasn't much with Seattle because they didn't target the tight end once true. in the Super Bowl. Well, he's had a lot of injuries the last couple of years. <laughs> well, that might be the but he's still why. young, and he did show when he's healthy he can catch passes. And Charles Clay is still out there. He might be the best one available. Played for Miami last year. Charles Clay has been offered a... a contract by the Buffalo Bills. But he's still the, out there. But the Dolphins, $38 million? Give me a break, Les. I'm just saying $38 million dollars for Charles <laughs> Clay? Feet of clay? <laughs> Hands of granite? <laughs> is, is that what you want in a tight end? I, I didn't say that's the what Miami I want. Dolphins, I said he's still out the there. The Dolphins gave him a transitional uh, tag. tag. Miami, uh, Buffalo has now offered him $38 million dollars over five years or something. Give me a break. They're not going to do that. They just <laughs> gave Virgil Green that uh, three or four million dollars a year. I think it was four. Three, between three and four. Three. That way. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's between three and four. <laughs> three point one would be between three and four. And uh, they've got, um, they've got, uh, who's the other tight end? Who's the old, who's the what? Other tight end they got. Uh, so Dominique Jones or yeah. something like that? Well, Maybe. they got one other. Yeah. They got one other. Yeah, he suited up, I think, for one game last year. Yeah. As of two weeks ago, he was number one on the depth chart. I think there's one more of those floating around somewhere, isn't there? No, I think I they, guess they've I'm only counting got three Max on Williams. The, I think they only have three on the, on the roster. Well, with Tammy gone, that would have been four if they brought him back. But he went bye-bye. That's what I said. Yeah. We've mentioned two, yeah. and then Jacob Tammy. So who's the other one? I think it's Dominique Jones. Well, that's one. Virgil, Virgil Green. Green. Owen Daniels. Owen Daniels, right. yes. I left him out. Yeah. So they got three. Right. How many do you carry? Maybe four. If one's a special teams player, that's what Jacob Tammy was. I, I mean, Jacob Tammy saw, forgive me, the handwriting on the wall yep. that he wasn't going to play here. That Owen Daniels and er Virgil Green were going to get most of the catches, and Dominic Jones is probably going to be gone. But I I'm think not now, sure I have that name right. Is somebody looking it up? Yeah, it's something. You talk about Dominic? Yeah, yeah, it's Dominic. Dom, I think it's Dominic or Dominique. Yeah. All right, we'll check it out. Anyway.